Yo, 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 what's going on YouTube? We are back with another one, and we are continuing this NF journey, man. We are on outro, man. Uh, the end of the, I believe this is the second album, right? The end of the second album, and uh, yeah, man, this journey has been fire, man. I cannot complain. This has been a really dope really dope journey so far like this dude i can't believe that a lot of people don't know about this dude and if it, and and i've been putting them on to a few of my peoples and shit like that obviously i put search on for them and they've heard and they've and some of them do follow me and they uh checked out the first one they checked out was uh hope and everybody fucked with it and then i sent i showed them search everybody fucked with it um, the next one that I put people on was a uh, therapy session and that one was very heavy, but they say the same thing that I say. A lot of motherfuckers now are not having those type of discussions anymore. Not those, those type of videos where like they're talking about real shit that's going on. Everything has to be booty shaking or fucking guns and that I shoot this, I shoot that. I'm tough. And yeah, that shit gets old real quick, and as you can see with Gunna and shit like that, not a lot of these motherfuckers actually live that life, you know, so, so yeah, so, uh, if, if this is your first time finding me, my name is Ace, man, my name is Ace, and I do reactions, I bring, I want to bring in all music lovers into my channel, I, I love music, man, like, I, I fucking, I listen to every single thing, I will give every single thing a try, and, uh, pause i will give every single type of music a try and uh yeah man like i just it's just it's just a part of me i fucking love music man so i want to bring in all music lovers into my shit into my um <laughs> pause again <laughs> uh into my uh into this world into my channel you know what i mean so yeah so if you love music definitely comment it down below what what you want to see what you want me to check out and yeah i'll definitely give it a try all right, and uh, yeah, man, enough rambling on. Let's get into this video. Let's see what he talk, what Nate is talking about on this outro. Definition of dedication, wrote this whole record while I was levitating Sitting in my room with the pen and paper, I'm innovative They've been afraid of me since I was a second grader I'm the kid on the playground, mama told you to never play But there's levels of music and I'm in the elevator Going up to the top floor, look how we elevated But you don't know the brand, by now you better get educated Take both of my arms, rip them out of socket to separate them Forgive me, yeah, I know I get animated Don't matter, I still write a better record than yours without a hesitation Never been more motivated, just look at all the minds I have opened and penetrated See, I am the voice of all these kids that think things but never say them. That's why they come to my shows wearing the NF hoodies and hats low like we're carrying weapons. I like that line. I like that line. People that fucking talk but talk about it but don't never say it. That's a fire line. Because yo, in this generation, man, like it's but like I keep saying this, man. He was ahead of his time. He was really ahead of his time because from the from the one from wake up to a lot of his other like symbolisms and stuff like that that he'd be talking about, like yo. It's crazy because especially nowadays, you really you really got to tiptoe. I don't, I don't give a fuck. I say what I say. I I stand on what I say. And and you know what I mean? Like, it is what it is. Like, if we're having a discussion, you got to be able to say what you feel. You get what I'm saying? A lot of people, like, be thinking about a lot of shit, but they be scared and want to tiptoe around certain shit in order to not anger the other person if you got something strong on your mind and you believe in something you got to talk about it and that's why i fuck about it. i fucks with this guy about this he told he has those hard ass discussions and and he talks about stuff that really needs to get discussed like yo th like i keep saying as far as most toughest track to watch and listen to therapy session was definitely that i have not heard since eminem days I have not heard a tougher track than that one in this day and age, in this generation. You get what I'm saying? And, like, stuff like that, man, like, it's it's crazy. Like, sending death threats to the person for no reason because they don't believe in what he's talking about and stuff like that. It's just, it's just so retarded. Like, yo, everybody should be able to believe whatever they want to believe. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. 
top floor, look how we elevated But you don't know the brand, by now you better get educated Take both of my arms, rip them out of sockets and separate them Forgive me, yeah, I know I get animated Don't matter, I still write a better record than yours without a hesitation Never been more motivated, just look at all the minds I have opened and penetrated See, I am the voice of all these kids that think things but never say them That's why they come to my shows wearing the NF hoodies and hats low like we're carrying weapons Put the controllers away, it's game over I promise I'm way colder, the fans keep saying that they're hungry for new music Well that's pretty convenient cause I just made a plate for them And I don't hear what none of y'all are saying, I just sit at the keys feeling the music Got me thinking I'm Beethoven, the game needs a makeover If you've been waiting, the wait's over, you ain't noticed y'all about to witness a takeover I'm home, yeah, they're waiting on me to match the emotion that I had in the last one What if I don't, they gon' tell me that I'm losing my passion If I do, am I repeating my actions? Yeah, look, how could you leave us as massive? There ain't nothing I can write that'll match that this record wasn't putting out trash It was disappointing myself in the fan base Now I want you to catch it I'm in a hotel rapping Crying on the floor of the bathroom Staring in the mirror of my room Handshaking, playing Like you're saying, man His visualization is fucking insane It's, it's really phenomenal You go on right here I promise I'm way colder The fans keep saying that they're hungry for new music Well, that's pretty convenient Cause I just made a plate for them And I don't hear what none of y'all are saying I just sit at the keys feeling the music Got me thinking I'm Beethoven The game needs a makeover If you've been waiting, the wait's over You ain't noticed y'all about to witness a takeover I'm home, yeah They waiting on me to match the emotion that I had in the last one What if I don't, they gon' tell me that I'm losing my passion If I do, am I repeating my actions? Yeah, look How could you leave us as massive? There ain't nothing I can write that'll match that this record wasn't putting out trash It was disappointing myself in the fan base Now I want you to catch it I'm in a hotel rapping Crying on the floor of the bathroom Staring in the mirror of my room Handshaking, playing How could you leave us through the speakers on my iPhone Trying to figure out if I'ma always feel the way that I feel Or maybe someday I can learn to be happy Or maybe I can't be Yo, that's crazy That's, that's, that's really crazy Because I've been seeing I've been seeing a lot like uh like like I keep saying in my other in my other videos like since I started listening to this guy to Nate uh I've been seeing a lot of little interviews and fucking little shits like that and I I've been seeing that a lot of people are not happy seeing that Nate is happy now <laughs> which is which is crazy to me you know what I mean like yo like he's he has gone through so much in just these two albums that I've listened to he is going he is putting out so much of his soul his his life his heart into these shits to for him to finally find the journey to find hope for his future and everything like that and people are mad that he is actually in a good place in a good mental space and that is just that is just insane to me like so you'd rather You'd rather stay depressed. You'd rather stay depressed and listen to somebody express himself, something that relates to you being depressed, instead of listening to somebody that has gone through their depression and everything else, and now is putting out music that will bring you hope, because that's the best way to fucking describe it, to bring you hope, and you don't want to listen to that? Like... That makes that makes no sense to me. Like I you can't stay in your depression all the time. You can't. Like I say this all the time, bro, like I might not be religious, but there's one thing that I always that I always say. If you believe in God, if you believe in the universe, if you but whatever you how you believe in, but the toughest battles gets given to the toughest soldiers. If you can get by whatever you are going through, you will become a stronger version of yourself that you didn't know you were. You get what I'm saying? And this is what Nate is aspiring to. Like, and th and I feel like he talks about the shit. S like, like, in his toughest songs, like, I feel like he talks about that shit. Because, like, bro, like, look at everything that he's going through. Like, his mom was a druggie. He, he was broke, poor. He was fucking... He, everything in the book that you can that you can fucking relate to and it's just like he's going through it and and in the times where he fucking can't in the times where he can't fucking like find the words or whatever to do it like look at what he does he makes these fucking hard, hard ass tracks that you know, it's just 
Man, it's, it's, it's just crazy. It's just crazy. It's just crazy to me. I, I just wanted to say that part because, like, I, I've been I've been wanting to say it, and, like, he just basically said it right here in this bar. Like, it's it's crazy to me. He will never lose the fucking, yo. Man, listen. Now trash, it was disappointing myself in the fan base. Now I want you to catch me. I'm in a hotel rapping, crying on the floor of the bathroom. Staring in the mirror, my room handshaking, playing. How could you leave us through the speakers on my iPhone? Trying to figure out if I'ma always feel the way that I feel, or maybe someday I can learn to be happy, or maybe I can't be. Cause if the music ain't emotional enough, are they gonna call me a has been? Pain's always been the rule. That's crazy. That's really crazy. He's talking about this shit in his sec five. What is this? It says five years. Yo, this dude can see the future. This, this, it, this is crazy. It really is. To my music, if I cut it off, how am I supposed to keep growing? If I let it go, won't my whole career be in ruins? That's when I realize this whole conversation is stupid. I never cared to impress people that don't even know me. I strike what I feel, so I started a movement trying to enjoy a career, but I don't know how to do it when I spend all of my time being afraid of my losing. But then I figured out the reason they follow me, the reason why these fans surround me. It's not because I'm a rap god, I don't need you people to bother me. All they ever do is doubt of me, now everyone's proud of me. Talk your shit, Nate. Talk your shit because I heard that little diss stuff. And I never understand him and him for this, man. I never understand. Like, I understand he doesn't want fucking people to, like, follow what he did or, or just be him. But, bro, like, my dude, there's so many. There's so many. This is the thing about Eminem, man. He opened a Pandora's box to allow other people that's just not black in. You get what I'm saying? He opened a box where, and I don't understand how he doesn't see this and why he always disses every single person that, especially if they're white, that even slightly sounds like him. Slightly. And I never understood that from him. Never understood it. Like, bro, like, like I said, like, he opened up Pandora's box to, to other, for other genres, other people, other types that's not black to get into the space and do it better than some other people, than other people. You know what I'm saying? So, and then the fact that he always disses every, MGK was a different story. MGK kind of went and at, at Eminem. Eminem responded, and then this, then, and there. Whatever happened in the scenes, I don't know. I don't. I don't really care. I don't, I'm not involving myself in that. But with NF, bro, like, yes, I did say this. Like he in his intro for for the track one, and I think a few other tracks, he did sound like Eminem. I think all I have, he in the first verse, he did sound like Eminem, but in the second verse, he actually kind of like, uh, it sounded more of him, more authentic from him, but like, bro, like, for him dissing this guy, he's talking about, he, he obviously didn't listen to his tracks, because they're so relatable, I would have loved to see a Eminem and NF collab. You know what I mean? Like, bro, they would have made something crazy. And if we get fucking Mar, and if we would have gotten Marshall Mathers Eminem instead of fucking Rap God Eminem, bro, like, it would have been mind blowing. The music they could have made, the money they could have made, it would have been insane. You get what I'm saying? So like, I'm glad you're talking back, man. Talk, talk your shit, man. I don't have to be a rap god to fuck, man. Listen, talk your shit because I don't think anybody really likes rap god Eminem. To be honest with you, he's kind of lost his touch in. I don't want to say culture because that sounds like like fucking like dumb to say. Like it, he just found he just lost his way in the rap game. You get what I'm saying? So. Bathroom, staring in the mirror, my room handshaking, playing. How could you leave us through the speakers on my iPhone? Trying to figure out if I'ma always feel the way that I feel, or maybe someday I can learn to be happy, or maybe I can't be. Cause if the music ain't emotional enough, are they gonna call me a has been? Pain's always been the root of my music. If I cut it off, how am I supposed to keep growing? If I let it go, won't my whole career be in ruins? That's when I realize this whole conversation is stupid. I never cared to impress people that don't even know me. I strike what I feel, so I started a movement trying to enjoy a career. But I don't know how to do it when I spend all of my time being afraid of my losing. But then I figured out the reason they follow me, the reason why these fans surround me. It's not because I'm a rap god, I don't need you people to bow to me. All they ever do is doubt of me, now everyone's proud of me.
me, acknowledge me or not, you ain't ignoring the following. I'm just teaching them something they couldn't learn in colleges. This is for the kids feeling like they live at the bottom and every day they lies feel like it's darker than Halloween. Yeah, you ain't alone out there. Look around you, we got a lot of fans in here. Couple hundred thousand, that's what we did last year. Listen to intro three, trying to kill my fear. Don't get that in a minute. We about to shatter the critics. I am a savage, admit it. A lot of baggage I live in, that's why the passion is different. Really don't care if they get it. We're only three records in it, and this is just the beginning. I'm home. I'm home. Fire. Crazy. We're running that back. But nah. Yo. Yo. I can't do that, though. Putting out trash. It was disappointing myself in the fan base. Now I want you to catch me. I'm in a hotel rapping. Crying on the floor of the bathroom. Staring in the mirror of my room. Handshaking. Playing. How could you leave us through the speakers on my iPhone? Trying to figure out if I'ma always feel the way that I feel. Or maybe someday I can learn to be happy. Or maybe I can't be. Because if the music ain't emotional enough, are they going to call me a has, has been. been. Has been. Pain's always been the root of my music If I cut it off, how am I supposed to keep growing? If I let it go, won't my whole career be in ruins? That's when I realized this whole conversation is stupid I never cared to impress people that don't even know me I strike what I feel, so I'd started a movement Trying to enjoy a career, but I don't know how to do it When I spend all of my time being afraid I'm a loser But then I figured out the reason they follow me The reason why these fans surround me It's not cause I'm a rap god, I don't need you people to bow to me All they ever do is doubt of me, now everyone's proud of me Talk your shit Teaching them something they couldn't learn in college. This is for the kids feeling like they live at the bottom And every day their lives feel like it's darker than Halloween Yeah, you ain't alone out there Look around you, we got a lot of fans in here Couple hundred thousand, that's what we did last year Listen to intro three, trying to kill my fear Don't get that in a minute, we about to shatter the critics I am a savage, admit it, a lot of baggage I live in That's why the passion is different, really don't care if they get it We're only three records in it, and this is just the beginning I'm home, I'm home. I'm home. I'm home. Crazy Crazy. Crazy. Talk your shit, Nate. Talk your shit, man. That was fire, bro. God, yeah. Off this first listen, which we rewinded like maybe three to four times. Yo, this in search, man. That has come to number... No, no, no. It's right under hope. I would say this one's right under hope. Okay. I, yeah, like that dot. This was fire. That, this one was fire. That was fire. Not even going to lie to y'all. Yo. That was fire. That was fire. That was fire. All right. I don't care about my opinion. I care about your opinion. Definitely let me know what y'all thought of this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell for all my videos. And if y'all want to follow me and stuff like that, and you know what I mean, get a, follow me on all my socials. And remember, I will be linking all of the NF tracks on in the description below. So if there is an NF track that you want to see a reaction to or what I felt about it, this, then the third. Definitely look in the description below. It might be there. Or, well, judging by where I'm at, you can see if I'm at that, if I, whatever. You know what I mean? So, everything will be in the description below. And, yeah, man, definitely let me know what y'all thought of this track. Uh, this one was fire. This one, this, I like this one. I like this one. This one's dope. This is definitely going on the, on the Spotify playlist. This one's gone. All right, I'm going to holler at y'all. Peace.